Welcome to great online training series on pharmacovigilance interview questions and answers. My name is Ramya and I'm working as pharmacovigilance trainer for great online training. And if you want to get live training by me, register at greatonlinetraining.com for more details. So we have already learned about the minimum criteria for validity assessment in our earlier video. And the interviewer might ask you about few case scenarios to check your understanding in the validity assessment. So in this video, we are going to prepare on the possible interview question related to the validity criteria scenarios. So one of such example is like, how do you handle an AE report or the adverse event report with the multiple patients? So sometimes, uh, we may get the reports of uh, multiple patient in a single AE report. So how do we assess this criteria? So this, this can be one of the interview question which you might face. So for that, you need to answer like, if we receive multiple patients in single adverse event report, first we will check for the availability of patient criteria, like patient age, gender, or any ethnicity, or any other patient demographics, or any address or the patient name. If any of this information is available for all the patients, then we will create separate case for each of the patient. If the, if the criteria about the patient is not mentioned, then we will consider that case as invalid for non-identifiable patient. Because ICSR, uh, we create the case for a single patient. If the multiple patients are there, we cannot create a case we cannot create a single case for all the patients. So that is the reason we need to have all the patient criteria to create the cases. If we know if we don't have the patient criteria, then we will consider that report as invalid report under the category of non-identifiable patient. So this should be your answer. So this question interviewer might ask like uh, if a physician reported like he had few patients who experienced some event like rash after taking the X medication. So in this scenario, we can clearly see the, uh, I mean the reported details are there, but the patient details are, uh, it was mentioned as few patients, which will become invalid for the non-identifiable patient criteria. So these are the two points you need to answer for this question. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you can ask in our comment section below. We will get back to you at earliest. Thank you for watching.